In this video, I'll just be going over the details of the body of this machine. The, uh, any scratches or anything major on this machine. I'm going to first start with the front. I guess a little bit of a, something right there. Uh, there's a sticker, I think, right here that I took off when I first got it. I took off some of this. But you can easily um, take this to Fast Signs or somewhere to get that. Um, put a new finish on that. That was where they inspect some, I think, some kind of um, tax sticker back in the day. The sticker on it says 2006. Get to focus. December 31st, 2006. I think they take that off after a while. The front glass is basically flawless. Nothing, nothing wrong with this. No scratches or anything. A couple smudges because I had cleaned it. Joystick area. There's the key. It's the front cover for the um string mech. There's the other side. There's the coin mech. And then there's the coin bank. Just towards the bottom, there's a couple little things right here for moving it. Right there. Um, a couple little shoe, shoe um, uh, scratch it, shoe um, smudges on it, like right there. But um, other than that, there's nothing else on this front piece that is detrimental or nothing. Seriously. There's the key side. Little thing right there. I'm going to go ahead and show you the inside of the clinic. Um, the wiring was done, redone on this when I first got this a couple years back. Um, so the coin mech is in great condition. Everything's working just fine on it. There's a coin counter. As you can see it's got 111,558 it looks like oh yeah the little key for the front and back of this thing goes in here goes in these two separate key there's a separate key for to get into the whole big thing of this I'll go ahead and, I'll go ahead and do that real quick You got your coin bank, your coin mech. There's where the drop is for the toys. There's a motherboard in there. Can't really see that very well. I don't have a flashlight, but I never messed with it, never touched it, don't want to, because there's a lot of wires back there. There's the on and off switch, so like I could power this off. There's oh there's the sensor. That's the sensor that isn't currently working. The thing that needs to be replaced, definitely. That just senses when the toy drops. Um, it'll say, you won, or it'll say, you lost, if it didn't sense anything. So, interested to see if maybe the positioning positioning on this is wrong. Or you can probably play around with it, maybe you can get it to work. But there's the switch, I'm going to go ahead and turn it off. You can turn it on, see how it's off. Then I'll turn it on. Fluorescent light along with the claw. Close this up. And the key goes right in here. Right in the little hinge. Okay, let's go ahead and look, take a look at the back. Uh, 
there's the back of the machine. Again, there's nothing bad back here at all. There's where the fan is. I'll go down to the side. Another thing right there for probably where it was set up against it at some point. And that's how you get into the back of it. There's two keys. Um, there are two um, keyholes where you put the keys in to get it open in the back. So the cord comes out. Again, nothing too bad on that. Let's go to the side. And do a little sweep. The side's pretty good. Just chip. Chips here and there on the side. So you can see. I'm going to go down this side. And then we'll up the glass. A couple scratches on this side. It's probably from kids going up on there. I'll go down this. I forgot to do this on the front. Here's the gold paint on there. Couple chips right about there. Nothing you can't fill in with a marker, you know. There's a little um, thing right there, probably from a shoe or something. Looks like rubber or something. Like when a shoe hits up against it or something. Side, there's a couple chips, like right there. Go down the glass, couple scratches here and there. Other than that, not too bad. Now we're going to take a look inside. Glass comes out just like that. Here's the inside. Only thing I saw was this, which really isn't too noticeable if you're just playing the machine. A couple of scratches up there. There's this side. Other than that, bottom is red. Of course, you never want to see that in a crane game, otherwise, you're not making any money. And um, other than that, oh, I'll put a little tape here. This cord um, got is stretched over time. When it gets too stretched, it gets wrapped around this claw. And you'll sometimes get caught right there and it'll stay like that. Which you don't really want. So I just kind of taped it right there. You could de-lengthen the string or the, the uh, cord any way you want. It's just been stretched over time. You could probably get a new telephone cord if you wanted. Don't matter too much. Other than that, again, there's the back. Beanbag Buddy's machine. Great working condition. Um, personally, when I since I've had it, I used it a bunch when I first got it and haven't really used it as much since. So, I mean, other than that, Great little machine.